When an angry gorilla refused to let anyone near him, the sanctuary staff grew very concerned. But when they checked his hand, they were absolutely stunned and shocked by what they saw. When Bobo arrived at the Mafu primate sanctuary when he was only two years old, he had already been through a lot in life. He had been born in the wild and had been raised as any young gorilla usually was, but then his idyllic life had been struck by tragedy. Poachers came to his home and took away his mother. This left Bobo as an orphan who was still too young to properly look after himself and take care of all the things that his mother used to help him with. He was found by the staff of a sanctuary who brought him back to live with the other young gorillas who had been through similar ordeals. Over time, Bobo grew up and soon became the alpha of his pack. He ballooned in size, became powerful and muscly, and dwarfed all the other gorillas at the sanctuary. No poacher would have ever dared tackle a gorilla of that size. Luckily, everyone at the South African sanctuary loved Bobo, just like they loved each other and any other animal on the premises. Over their many years of being open, they had rescued and saved over 300 apes and monkeys. Whether these animals needed rehoming because of poaching, or required help because of injury, the sanctuary was always happy to help. But it was a woman named Alyssa who had had the pleasure of raising Bobo and helping him develop into a strong and wise gorilla. Alyssa knew everything about Bobo. Because she had spent so much time with him, she knew all of his little quirks. She could tell if he was happy and content, just as she could tell when he was angry or irritated and ready to explode. For this reason, she was often the only one who was able to get through to him. Bobo and Alyssa had formed an incredible bond, almost like some kind of mother and son connection. And even when Bobo grew and started to dwarf the little sanctuary worker, the pair still loved and respected each other. At 300 pounds and with an incredibly large build, you would be forgiven for thinking that Bobo would be an angry and violent animal. Indeed, he was capable of laying down the law with the other gorillas if he had to. But the truth was that he had an incredibly sweet side. He would often display this side of his nature to some of the other apes at the sanctuary, and even some of the staff. The sight of such a large animal being so gentle and loving was always quite a strange one. But whenever other male gorillas would try to dethrone Bobo from his position as alpha of the group, he could switch back to his violent and powerful version in a heartbeat. For example, two younger males named Kibu and Nikaim tried to challenge Bobo and his power once, and inevitably, a fight ensued. While Alyssa and the keepers were eventually able to separate the three animals, the encounter did not end well for the two young challengers, and Bobo remained firmly in his position of power as alpha of the group. One day, though, Alyssa started to notice something strange about Bobo. He would normally walk around his enclosure, looking at things and playing with the various stimulation items in there. But he had recently started to hide in the long grass and keep much more to himself. Everyone, from the staff to the other apes, were used to Bobo coming and taking an interest in whatever they were doing. But now, he seemed increasingly less present in the group, both physically and mentally. It's like he was being distracted and wanted to be elsewhere. It really was the kind of behavior that set alarm bells ringing for Alyssa. So, determined to get to the bottom of what was going on, Alyssa started to keep a very close eye on Bobo. She soon noticed that he wasn't going to the long grass to hide himself. He was going there to hide something else. He was using it as a hiding spot. Now, as well as being incredibly strong and powerful, gorillas are also intelligent and emotional animals. They are capable of keeping their own secrets, and if Bobo didn't want anyone to discover what he was doing, then there was no way that would change. It's not like anyone could just walk in and go and take a look for themselves. That would be near suicide. So Alyssa came up with a plan. She waited until it was time to feed Bobo, and then she served him his food in his cage. The giant gorilla happily walked in and sat down to eat his meal, at which point Alyssa shut the cage behind him, trapping him in there and making it safe for her to enter his enclosure. Bobo gave her nothing more than a passing glance though, seemingly unfazed by what had just happened and more interested in his food. 
Alyssa walked over to the long grass and waded in, keeping her eyes peeled for anything that looked suspicious. When she eventually reached the patch that Bobo kept going to and acting suspiciously, she was shocked to discover that there was absolutely nothing out of the ordinary there. Apart from some flattened down grass where he had been sitting, there was nothing of any interest there. It was a relief, as Alyssa was worried that Bobo had gotten hold of something that he shouldn't, something that could be dangerous to both him and her. What she didn't realize was that Bobo had not used the grass to hide something away. Rather, he had kept that secret something on him at all times. It was only when Alyssa noticed him holding something in his hands and him studying it very closely that she realized that she had been fooled by the gorilla. She was now more determined than ever to figure out exactly what it was that he was holding. The issue was that whenever she or anyone else tried to get close enough to see what Bobo was holding, he would become angry and irritated, running off and hiding in a quieter spot. He would constantly create distance between himself and anyone else that might want to come close and discover the secret that he had hidden away in his massive hands. Of course, no one wanted to anger Bobo. They had all seen how vicious and violent he could get, and no one wanted to suffer his wrath. Even some other gorillas had picked up that Bobo was hiding something, and they too started to show a keen interest in whatever it was that he was holding. Of course, Bobo would let out a scream and chase them away whenever they wanted to come close. It seemed that no one would be able to discover the secret. Of course, there was always one person who could get through to Bobo slightly more than anyone else. Alyssa. After many failed attempts, Alyssa did get close enough to see what he had in his hands. What she saw shocked her and left her with her mouth hanging wide open. It wasn't an object or an item that he had found and was keeping all to himself. It wasn't some kind of tasty treat that he was unwilling to share with anyone else. It was something totally unexpected and unusual. In Bobo's hands was a tiny animal. At first, Alyssa thought it was some kind of rodent like a mouse or a rat, but upon closer inspection with some binoculars, the truth became clear. The little animal was a galago, a type of primate that they very rarely look after. It must have found its way into Bobo's enclosure from the forest that surrounded the sanctuary. Bobo had found it and took care of it like a pet. He prodded at it and stroked it, even playing games with it. The size difference was incredible but the tiny Galago seemed completely at ease with the massive gorilla that was looking after it. It would sometimes hop down and wander into the long grass or run around, but it would always return to Bobo as if it loved being there. Galagos often hunted and fed in the dark, and Alyssa thought that maybe the little animal would leave during the nights. But she was even more shocked when she found out that Bobo was actually sharing food with it and feeding the tiny primate himself. The other gorillas in the sanctuary were just as shocked and interested as Alyssa and the rest of the staff, but Bobo made sure that they all kept at a safe distance. He might have been a big and bulky gorilla, but it seemed that all of the love that Alyssa had given him growing up was now being redirected towards his tiny and highly unusual little Galago friend. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible story? Have you ever heard of such a massive animal making friends with such a small and adorable creature? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.